Hi, my name is Joshua Martin, and today we are going to learn about the curve called the Witch of Amnesia using Geometer Sketchpad. But pay attention because there will be a quiz at the end. To begin, we're going to learn a little bit about the history of the Witch of Amnesia. The Witch of Amnesia is a mathematical curve named after female mathematician Maria Amnesia in 1748. The curve was discovered in Maria's book, which is a first surviving mathematical work written by a woman. The reason for the name witch is because of a mistranslation of the word versaia, or turning curve. This curve was also studied by famous mathematicians Vermont and Gildo Grande. Maria worked on the curve for 10 years and she helped bring calculus to the general use so she was an important mathematician. This is a picture of Maria on the right. What does the curve look like? The curve looks like this red line that turns about this circle. And this is the Witch of Agnesia. How would we construct this curve using Sketchpad? Well first we need to define the coordinate system. Next, we plot a couple of points to form a circle around. At 0, 1 and 0, 0.5. Now we select, this is our last point that's been selected, so we select this point, the, the 0, 1, and we construct a circle by center and point. Next, we graph a function y equals 1. Then we form a line on that. Next we put a point on the circle. It can be anywhere on the circle. I'm going to select right there. Then from this point in that point, we construct a line. We place a point at the intersection of the two lines. Then, select this point and construct, first hide the function, so we're left with our thing, and then select the point and select the line and construct a perpendicular line. Then how with this selected we select this point and construct another perpendicular line. At this intersection we place a point. This point is on the curve of the Witch of Agnesia. So now we hide all of our lines Except for that last one, we don't hide that one. We hide. Now select this point and trace the intersection. The next thing we want to do is construct an action button by first selecting the point on the circle, going to display or edit action buttons animation and we'll make the speed slow so now when we animate our point we can see that the curve is now made and that is how you construct the Witch of Agnesia using Geometer Sketchpad So you're probably wondering, what are some applications of the Witch of Agnesia? Like, where is it used in real life? Well, the Witch of Agnesia is sometimes used in spectroscopy, which is in physics, for fitting the shape of spectral lines in situations where the bell curve is just not quite right. It is also used as a model for bump-shaped disturbances in 
fluid flow models of the atmosphere. This bump might, for example, be a mountain in the ground that affects the wind patterns around it. The Witch of Agnesia is also found in statistics along with the bell curve. Now that we've got a little history, we've seen what it looks like, we found out how to construct, and some applications, we got a pretty good handle of what the Witch of Agnesia really is. Next, we will have our quiz.